I find myself like stuck in like a, in like the same thing that keeps repeating over and over again. And I'm just like, how do I end up? How am I in this? What have you lost as a result of Miss Heard making these allegations against you? Nothing less than everything. I've made plenty of mistakes, some big, some small. I wish I could go back time and change all kinds of things, but I can't. Glitz, glamour, and all that jazz. Sports cars traveling on a private jet, screaming fans, your face on the front covers. We all once dreamt of what it would be like to have that life, to live the life of the biggest, brightest stars. But when it's all said and done, what exactly happens when the cameras and the lights are off? Is it still as amazing, as surreal, as fancy as you think it is? After a peek into the reality, would we still want to be them? Or would we choose the life we are currently living? In today's video, we are going to be talking about fame and all that comes along with it, the good and the bad. We all know no one gets famous overnight. Celebrities and influencers, even the big ones, all start from somewhere. Some would go on countless auditions, book flights just so they can meet directors and producers and give it their all. Some would put everything they have at risk to invest in something they are passionate about. Some would simply have that it factor and is waiting for the right opportunity to come in so that they can encash it and debut into a superstar. In modern times, one can be discovered through YouTube videos, TikTok posts or Instagram. There are a lot of ways where you can make yourself known. Sometimes fame starts with an audition tape sent to countless agencies looking for fresh new faces. Sometimes it starts with having connections here and there. And sometimes it starts when you least expect it. There is really no guarantee one can become famous by following a certain process. We know no two individuals' journeys are exactly the same. And in most cases, fame comes along with a good string of luck. And in some, quote, luck, end quote, is something that was bought. With what, you ask? Only they can tell. Being in the limelight can mean a lot of things. You can be in it because you were finally recognized for your talents. You attract a lot of attention because people see in you a charm not everyone possesses. You bring something new to the table, a fresh face or a familiar one. And with fame comes a wider reach where you can use it to your advantage and inspire people to do better. You can make a difference. You can let yourself be known for something good. You can make a mark, leave a legacy, be someone. On the other hand, being in limelight might mean you've done something problematic. You end up on the trends for something you said that was taken out of context. You might be in it for a mistake made in your younger years. May it be for good or right reasons, people in the limelight have eyes on them 24-7. Every little thing they do can cause a ripple effect not on just their lives but also on the lives of others. Of course, it feels good to know people look up to you. It feels good to know you inspire them to do better, but along with it comes a responsibility to always deliver and never let yourself break. Because once they caught you slipping, everything you once dreamt of can be taken away just like that. In the film Never Say Never, we see a young Justin Bieber performing for the first time in front of now manager Scooter Braun and Usher. He was adored by millions and millions of fans. People loved him. People were amazed with how a kid from a small town was able to chase after his dreams and become who he is right now. In a sense, they saw him as someone relatable because he was once a little kid who'd take videos of himself singing his favorite songs and post them on YouTube. And they saw him as a success story that can be accomplished by everyone with a dream. When Kylie Jenner of the Kardashians launched her own makeup brand, everyone was excited to see where it would go. Wanting to be different from her model sister, she wanted to make a name for her own. What was once a hobby quickly became an empire and turned this young lady into a billionaire. When Mark Zuckerberg first came out with Facebook, everyone thought of him as this genius kid from Harvard. But eventually, Mark has become one of the most memed and hated people on the internet. You might think they are living their best lives, but we don't exactly know what happens once they are alone at home, living lives not as celebrities but as normal human beings. It's so embarrassing that I'm crying. Why am I bawling my eyes out? I thought I was going to use this. 
People often forget that these celebrities and influencers are human too. Humans who are capable of feeling real, unfiltered emotions. With fame comes an opportunity to be judged by every single eye that can see you. It is a gateway to a lot of things. A gateway to change the world or let the world change you. People often put them on a pedestal and expect them to be all sorts of things except being vulnerable. But can you imagine living a life where everything you do is being watched by the entire world? Can you imagine reading hurtful words from a troll account on Twitter with an anime character as their profile picture? I so badly want to be Katherine Hudson that I don't even want to look like Katy Perry anymore sometimes. Okay. And like that is a little bit of why I cut my hair is because I really want to be my authentic self. Yes. Like, Can you imagine being depressed but still have to post a picture of yourself smiling on the internet just to please fans. It is not as peaceful and quiet as we all thought it should be. There are no breaks and no turning back once you're in the limelight. You have to live up to it. Live up to the image you've already put out. It is a commitment not fit for every single one of us. At times the pressure can be unbearable. How scary it is to be in and out of it. Can the feeling of being famous be put exactly into words for all of us to understand? With great power comes great responsibility. A famous quote by Uncle Ben from the Spider-Man movie. When you're young, you think of this line would only be applicable to superheroes on big screens. You would take the words literally and think of yourself as someone without superpowers. But as you grow older, you come to realize that power comes in all shapes and sizes. Of course, we all know money can buy you happiness. It can buy you a house by the beach or car, designer bags, a boat, and all that you can imagine to buy. And being famous comes with a lot of it. From brand deals, collaborations, new projects, it's never ending. Having access to money means having access to a lot of things, a lot of possibilities. Things like drugs, sex, gambling, these things are not easily available to the average individual, but it's at their fingertips. So what do you do when the pressure gets too loud and you have the power to change that? Well, you'll use that power to your advantage. The thing about having access to money, having power is that it can be addicting. It's like a venom that slowly consumes you and eats you all up without you even knowing. Once you see what a swipe of a black card or a signature with a nice pen can do, the possibilities are limitless. You're never gonna wanna stop. As a society, we don't often see reasons behind why famous people get addicted to the high. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean being high on drugs and all that. Some get addicted to the high of being in the spotlight, while others get addicted to the high of not living an average life. Power and pressure doesn't really sit well together. So what happens when you have both? When you put a stack of books on top of a banana, it smashes. The skin involuntarily opens and the fruit is destroyed forever. So imagine what the weight of pressure can do to a human being. In 2007, Britney Spears made news after shaving her own head. People were quick to judge. There was the name calling, the memes, the baseless rumors, malicious articles written about her everywhere. When Meghan Markle married Prince Harry, she became the center of attention, dodging racist remarks here and there. And instead of having a strong support system, what they had in return were countless attacks from strangers thrown right at them. Because they have a name and a following, people often think they are puppets who are supposed to do what is expected from them and they have taken away their right to feel anything. It's crazy to think fame paved the way for negativity to consume a person. It's easy for everyone to pick on these people because they feel like the public owns them and that they owe their entire lives to public. In the hit Netflix series Brojack Horseman, we see a glimpse of what it's like living as a Hollywood star. One of the characters, Sarah Lynn, showed us how messed up life can be living in the limelight. At a young age, she was exposed to nasty ways of making it big. In the series, she had to deal with the pressure of being a star at such a young age, having an unhealthy relationship with food, having no one to talk to, inability to have boundaries between work and personal life, these are some of the things that the teenager went through. It was polarizing for a girl her age. And although it was fictional, it isn't very far from the realities of life. You would think they wanted this or that's what they get for being celebrities. But the world can be a dark place. What was once a dream can easily turn into a nightmare you can't get out of. 
And I guess it's safe to say that with fame comes a lot of things, but never peace. Now let's talk about mental health. These days people are more open to discuss mental health unlike before where it was considered as taboo. We have big names openly telling everyone the state of their mental health and as a result people become more open to it. People are trying to understand all that comes with it and people are scared to seek professional help nowadays. We have also seen how there is signs of celebrities openly admitting on podcasts and on different shows about their issues with mental health. For example, Linkin Park's lead singer Chester Bennington was someone who spent most of his life on the edge of that scale. His success with Linkin Park was largely fueled by his openness about personal battles with depression, addiction, anger, betrayal, and self-doubt. Given this, you'd think people online and offline would be a little kinder to others, but it doesn't always end up that way. Oftentimes, depression comes knocking at the door and you have no power to not let it in. What was once a colorful life becomes a life so dull one does not wish to live. Big artists have to keep showing up even when their entire world is crashing down. They have to power through this sadness and deliver what is expected from them. It is things like this that ruins a person entirely. Can we really blame them for looking for ways to rid themselves of all the negativity? In the world of acting, there is a thing called method acting. According to Google, method acting is a range of training and rehearsal techniques as formulated by a number of different theater practitioners that seeks to encourage sincere expressive performances through identifying with and understanding and experiencing a character's inner motivations and emotions. So method acting when done right is a very fascinating thing to watch on screen. Actors and artists bring characters into real life as if it's their own. But did you know some actors can snap out of their characters even after the director calls cut? Some actors get too much into a character that they start to lose themselves in the process. They are expected to embody the characters given to them and tell their stories perfectly. They go through countless videos studying every bit of behavior of the person they are about to portray. They change their appearance, change the way they talk, mirror their habits. One can say it's phenomenal for an actor to portray a character perfectly, you'd think they aren't acting anymore. But it can also be very dangerous. An actor once developed a stutter after trying to embody his character and had to go through speech therapy to help him with it, but sadly wasn't able to rid himself of it. The late Heath Ledger once locked himself up in a hotel room and experimented on ways how he can perfectly portray the role of the Joker. He had this diary wherein he'd write down his conclusions following this experiment. Later on, there are theories about how he took his Joker role a little too far which led to unfortunate things in his personal life. Some say artists use method acting as a way to protect themselves from getting eaten up by the emotions of the characters they portray. But some say it's the exact opposite. There are times when the entire world gets too loud for them. So they seek out peace by getting into the character of another person, by living that life by escaping their own dark realities. So fame can bring in unbearable amount of pressure which can really make or break a person. With fame comes followers, fans, supporters, they develop a kind of relationship which puts both parties on the giving and receiving ends. So when you have a following, you have this unspoken responsibility to be a leader. Because they look up to you. You have the power to send across a message. It also means all eyes are on you 24-7, even at times you think you aren't seen. In this part of the video, we'll be talking about stalking. The thing about stalking is that it is mostly not taken seriously. People often have this misconception of what stalking someone really means. More often than not, people have the absurd thinking that it's okay to follow celebrities around, something that is acceptable because they are public figures. But stalking doesn't always mean they follow a celebrity 24-7. Some would watch them from afar and take action only once. When the killing of Christina Grimmie hit the news, people were frantic. The man who allegedly shot her turned out to be an obsessed fan who came to one of her shows. She welcomed him with open arms, offering a hug. But what she got in return was a bullet that ended her young life. The killing of John Lennon was done by one of his fans too, who came visiting his house in New York City. Lennon came home from the studio and was walking to his home where Mark David Chapman was apparently waiting for his return. After greeting him, Chapman shot him in front of the crowd and his wife, Yoko Ono. Being seen publicly most of your life can be a really a scary thing and it can be a gateway to a lot of awful things. The public would start to think that you are their property. 
they can start living in a world of delusion where they think they know you more than you know yourself. Stalkers would create a world of delusion wherein they are deluded by their own fantasy. And what's worse is the possibility of them turning these delusions into their makeshift reality. In the world of fame, is there really anyone left you could trust? Are relationships genuine? Or is everything just for show? And when one is seen by the entire world, is there still a place to find peace and quiet? A place to be vulnerable, to be human? That is Christina Grimmie, everybody, representing that guy, Adam Levine. This video does not fully explain the darker side of fame, but I hope more or less it gave you an idea of what goes on behind the scenes. We have to see these big names as real functioning human beings and not just some made up character you see on the screen. Like you and me, they can only handle so much. Before you hit that send button after writing a nasty comment, think twice about the effect you are about to leave. With everything that's been happening, may we all be a lot kinder to one another. And remember that there's nothing wrong with making it big. We all want to make it big someday. But always, always keep in mind that with fame comes the limelight, the pressure, the gamble. But the fame never comes with peace. That's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed and picked up a thing or two. If you liked this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment. I'd like to hear more about your thoughts on this. And if you like what you're saying, please do subscribe. It will greatly help this channel grow and send a good message across the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day ahead wherever you are. I'll see you guys on the next one.